Hello YouTube. Thought I'd do a quick video here. Um, I got some other radios in, and they're the Bullfangs uh, UV Dash Five R. Um, couple things I've noticed. Uh, first thing is when I try to use the software on them, uh, Chip, I think is the name of the software, if I remember right. It came up under a different model number. And I forgot what that is. I'll put it in the title of the video. But it came up a different model, a different brand name, and a different model number. And it came up uh, UV 5G, if I remember right. Um, so I thought that was kind of interesting. Then I then once I selected that particular brand name and model, then then the software was able to communicate with the radios. So I'm not sure why that obviously this is made by somebody else these radios are and they just put their you know their own name on them or however you want to call it so that was that was kind of interesting the other thing too is <laughs> i um got two of them here's the other one right here it's for a project that i'm doing which i'll be hopefully hopefully be doing a video on that soon but at any rate, I'm, I'm going through these radios, going to program them to the to my repeater and, and trying to get all this set up. And I could, you know, I couldn't get it to work. And I'm like, and, and I'm checking things, all the settings, you know, making sure I don't got no tones on. And I'll give you an example here of what's going on. When, and, it's, and if people who are not familiar with, with these type of radios, there's an LED light. When it's red, it's transmitting. When it's green, it's receiving. Got the button pressed in. Transmitting. Not receiving. My unkey it. And the squelch brake from the repeater kicks on. It gets it. So I'm sitting here, you know, I don't have them this close, but I have them fairly close. I'm talking into it to see how it sounds and whatnot. I'm, I'm monkeying around here for a good while. And then all of a sudden it dawned on me, watch what happens when I move this radio further away. Look at that. Works just fine. So I don't know if that's just piss poor shielding or if it's just a real sensitive uh you know radios but i don't think my redivist does that when they're that close they key up no matter what so that's that's what's interesting if i get too close if i move the radio away it works so after figuring that out, so <laughs> FYI, if you get a radio like this and you get too close, it may not work um, when they're close, which I think is weird. Um, I, I'll have to check my right of us, but I'm pretty sure they don't do that. Um, yeah, so I, I, I think it's the shielding in their units not very well. Maybe it's got poor RF shielding and it's acceptable to interference now just for the record i did try this little experiment out in the yard where there's no electronics close by and it still does the same thing um i'm going to do some more playing around with it but they're brand new radios matter of fact well you can't see it off camera but the box is just right off camera here they're brand new i just got them in yesterday day before whatever it was I just find that amazing. And I move it away. <laughs> Weird. So I'm going to have to check the Renovus and see if they do that. I don't think they do. I don't think I've, I've had them really close during my videos, during my uh, just in normal, you know, playing with them, doing settings. And I never had, never had that happen with my Renovus model. So at any rate, um, and the kind of the reason why I kind of got these radios because they have the battery, the battery eliminator. Unfortunately, Redivus does not offer that. I may have to make one for my Redivus radios. 
Um, but for the time being, Redivus does not have that capability. And what I mean by that is, this is the battery, what I mean by the battery eliminator. Let's see if I can kind of show you here. You can plug it into a cigarette lighter. That's kind of the reason why I got these radials because I need that function for an experiment, or not really an experiment, for something I want to try. Well, I guess you can call it experiment, but it, it, it so that's that's why I got them. And I think I can modify the Redivus to, to be that way too. Not with this per se, but maybe if one of my batteries go bad over time, I'll take it apart and put a voltage regulator in it and all that good stuff. But that's for another time. At any rate, I just wanted to point, make this video all quick. See if anyone else has these issues. Or, you know, maybe I got a bad set. I, I don't know. They're brand new. But uh, I think that is really... That's just very interesting. And then I move it away. Radio check. One, two, three. Works just fine. At any rate, any comments or uh, questions, post them down below. And please subscribe. Thank you.